So if we read this question, it says, Kathy is a repair technician for a phone company. Each week she receives a bunch of phones that need repairs. Number of phones that she has left to fix at the end of each day can be estimated with this equation. P is the number of phones left to be fixed, and D is the number of days she has worked that week. It says, what is the meaning of the value 108 within this equation? So one of the things that I recognize whenever I look at this equation that they present us with in the middle of the problem statement here is that it's really a y equals mxb type equation, even though we don't see a y, we don't see an x, and we don't necessarily see the proper order. Uh, y is isolated in y equals mx plus b in slope-intercept form. P is isolated within this equation. x is multiplied by the slope in y equals mx plus b d is multiplied by negative 23 within this equation. So although this isn't really presented in the form that we're most used to seeing it presented in, this is really a situation where we can quickly try to think about what this graph is going to look like. So p is taking on the role of y and d is taking on the role of x based on what we just argued. Uh, I know I'm going to start my graph at the number that's not being multiplied by the variable, so b on the on the y-axis or the p-axis in this case so that's going to be positive 108 and then I'm going to have a slope of negative 23 so I'm just going to show a line that's that's going down and if you think about what p and d represent here it should make sense to say that after Kathy has worked for one day she's going to have less phones to fix after she's worked for two days she's going to have less phones to fix so as the number of days goes onward she's going to have fewer and fewer phones remaining to be fixed over the course of time so the question really is, what is the meaning of 108? So we have this graph starting at 108. So that's at day zero, right? No days have gone by at this point on the graph. And if no days have gone by at that point on the graph, and we go and we look at these options, she will complete repairs within 108 days. That doesn't make sense. 108 is the number of phones. So it's definitely not option A. Uh, Kathy starts each week with 108 phones to fix. I think based on the argument that we just met, made, she's starting here. After a certain number of days, the number of phones that she has left to fix goes down. After a few more days, the number of phones has gone down some more. So it seems like option B is pretty tempting. If you look at option C and D, she repairs phones at a rate of 108 per hour. She repairs phones at a rate of 108 per day. It might be tempting to choose those, but if you've do, done any applications with slope-intercept form, as I'm sure you have, You've hopefully said that slope is really a rate. The, the rate that she's repairing phones is 23 per hour. Uh, the number that she has to fix over the course of the week, so it's the number she starts with, is the value of B from slope-intercept form. So she's starting the week with 108 phones to fix.